Assalamu alaikum dear student welcome to my channel today we are going to talk about the chapter 1 of your science book the classification of animal world there are numerous animals diverse animals small and large animals if we are going to know about these animals we cannot learn about them easily that's why the scientist classified these animals according to their characteristics according to their habita habitation according to their food habits so that we can learn easily about the animals the scientist classified them in different class that's why if we learn about any class of the lang uh, of these animals we can easily learn about the million or million uh, animals who are similar in their characteristics in their habitation and in their food habit so let's go and learn about this lesson the chapter one classification in animal world the world is inhabited by numerous diverse small and large animals there were various similarities and dissimilarities among them from microscopic ame amoeba to zygotic coil all are included in this diverse world of animals the variety of animal depends on the diversity of environment the variety of animals takes place due to variety of environment and habitat it is a difficult task to understand the vast animal kingdom to understand the animal world easily as a systematic arrangement and grouping is necessary the method of this systematic grouping arrangement is called classification classification makes the way easy to understand animal kingdom as i said before if we want to learn or understand about the animals easily we should uh, learn the classification of these animals so let's go in the next lesson the lesson on classification of animal world you can see various types of animals small and large around you try yourself to answer the question below and from the knowledge you have acquired in class 6 question do all animals you see look alike no we saw many animals but they are not similar in their characteristics number two do all them have vertebral column do they live in same habitat their habitation is not same number four do all of them take same food never they take same food <clears throat> number five do all them have similar types of lo locomotion the now what's your thoughts to answer below the animals which we see around us are not all alike their shape structure as well as other uh, psychological activities are also different some have vertebral column and some do not have <clears throat> some of them live on land some in water and some on face amraji pani gulo sadhanto dekhe thaki sob gulo ekui jage boshobash kore na keu sthole boshobash kore keu panite boshobash kore abar keu gase boshobash kore their food is also of different kinds they the tader khabar gulo bhinno rokom these animals use different organs like fins legs wings cilia and appendages for their movements there are some animals who are sessile in form we do not have sufficient knowledge about the exact number of such diverse animals in the world so for about 1.5 million Spe species of animals have been discovered and the number is increasing day by day classification is an easy way to know the structure and nature of such huge number of animals morphological characteristics of the animal similarity and dissimilarity among them and their interrelationship are the basis of classification depending on their characteristics they are grouped into different taxons really this is step wise grouping of the living world is known as classification with the growing need of time and taxonomy has become a separate branch of biology 
The next species is the lowest rank of taxonomic unit, for example, man, pigeon, toad, etc., are separate species. To classify an animal, it is arranged step by considering its indigenous characteristics. Aristotle, John Ray, and Carolus Linnaeus are the notable names in the history of classification. Naturalist Carolus Linnaeus is called the father of taxonomy in the naming of animals. He introduced bionomica, bionomial and nomenclature and defined genus and species. Scientific name of an animal contains two parts. The process of such naming is called bionominal and scientific name. For example, Homo sapiens is the scientific name of human. Scientific name must be in Latin or Latinized language or in English. Number two, lesson two to five, classification of invertebrate animals. In the modern classification, all animals belong to the kingdom Animalia. In this classification, previously known phylum protozoa is considered as a sub kingdom. Animals of Animalia kingdom have been divided in nine phyla. Among these, the first eight phyla belong to invertebrate animals and the last one belongs to vertebrate animals. So let's go to see the classification of the animals, classification of animal world, classification of kingdom Animalia at a glance. Kingdom, kingdom name is Animalia. The phylum is Prophyria, Nidoria, Pratihelminthes, Nematoda, Annelida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, Echinodermata and Chordata. Chordata have some subphylum and classes. Chordata is Chordata subphylum are phylum are Eurochordata, Cephalochordata and Vertebrata. Vertebrata also divided into subclasses. The cyclostomata. Condrichthys, Ostrichthys, and Amphibia, and Reptilia, Abyss, and Mammalia. Dear students, that's all for today. We'll see you again in the next video. Stay well and stay safe. Assalamu alaikum.